Right, so what we're doing now is getting the um, brake part back into the caliper. Again, another bit of a fiddly job, but we have found it certainly a lot easier if you haven't got all the um, uh, back brake plates or um, the guard on, which uh, normally it would probably still be there but being we've got all that off it certainly makes it a little bit easier for us right so that's the caliper with the brake part nice and tight and so we're just putting the uh, bleed nipple in and again we took that out straight away to make sure it wasn't seized in before we refurbished the caliper we've also checked there's uh, no blockages in it as well right, so now we're going to put on the um, back plate the shield and of course that's held in with three little kind of bolts and what we've done is because the others were quite rusty and um, we're changing them for a little bolt of an allen key heading and hope that'll make it easier next time we come to uh, remove it and i think even if you get the bolts out okay it's well worth changing them because the um, heads often do uh, rust away on those or get weak so when you next come to do it they uh, may fail we had one that had more or less failed we did manage to get it out but it was difficult so um, well worth changing in our case we needed to because they were beginning to rust of course we've got a little modification we've cut the slot out and uh, that way that lets them go on uh, a little bit um, easier well it lets us get them on and off because you couldn't get them on and off without that uh, slot in fact right so we're just going to put those three little bolts in top um, right round the middle and uh, the bottom so uh, we'll get on with that and then that uh, shield will be nice and uh, fitted right so that's the back shield on now we're ready to uh, put the disc on of course we've got that uh, alignment screw to put in with that and we've got the carrier all ready as uh, well and of course we've got the um, caliper just uh, hooked up out the way while we're uh, doing that Right, so before we're putting the disc on, what we're going to um, do is just put that hub nut back. Um, it's not something that um, you might necessarily have done on a job like this, but we did it. And what we wanted to do was put new hub nuts in. We found when you get new hub nuts, um, probably they're aftermarket ones, they have a bigger outer diameter although the thread's the same um, and what we've done there you can see the new hub nut on there and the um, old one to the side so our sockets are quite fat sockets so what you find is if we show you there it won't fit into that um, diameter so what we had to do was get a new thinner socket um, so that would fit into that uh, inner ring there and um, allow us to do the hub nut up what we've done is we've just done it up and then we'll talk it up to the correct torque settings a little bit later on but i just thought i'd show you that because it might be something you're not aware of if you buy a set of hub nuts you'll find that a normal um sort of socket may not necessarily fit on you need quite a thin one to uh, get it into that inner ring and over the uh, hub nut uh, as always with the torque settings we're using the ones that um oh, they are yes yeah, so you can see the sockets there and how much thicker uh, sort of normal one would normally be to the thin one we've got yeah it's all the torque settings as always we're using from the Haynes manual and the x part disc and if anything we're doing up we'll be following those um, specifications right so now it's time to put the disc on So the disc has got that little alignment screw and we're just going to put that in now. Right, so we're going to put the ABS sensor back. Again, we removed it for painting. Um, probably should have done it before we put the shield back. But, uh, lucky enough, the caliper's not back, so we'll pull it back. And hopefully you can uh, see if I'll just bring this round here ah yeah there there's that hole and the little threaded bit for the screw to go in so it just goes in there behind the um uh, brake disc shield right 
And that's the ABS sensor going back there. Right, so what we've done is just put back the little ABS wire below and put the little um, clip in that holds the uh, brake pipe in there. So that's uh, all those little bits back now at this stage when it's easier to uh, get to them. And that's that uh, clip back nicely there. You see that? Yes, yeah. Right, so we're, as you can see, putting the uh, carrier back and you can see how it uh, goes in there, hopefully. And it's these uh, two bolts, top and bottom, that uh, hold it in. Right, so that's the um, caliper carrier back in. I hope you can see this. And now it's um, time to get the caliper back and, of course, the new brake shoes in as well. Right, so they're the new um, pads ready to go back on. Um, of course, the only difference is one is completely plain and the uh, other one has got the uh, hooks that you can see there that push into the back of the piston on the caliper. Right, so we've put a little bit of silicon grease just in the uh, piston. We're also putting a little bit um, on those uh, hooks of that pad that goes on the piston side. Um, one of the things is it'll hopefully stop the piston rusting up inside. And it'll hopefully make that go in a little bit easier and also come out as well if it's uh, less rusty. So just putting a little bit of um, silicone grease again that comes in with the kit just on the little ends there and there and uh, we've done the same with the uh, shoe that's uh, ready to go in. Right, so that's the caliper in with uh, both the shoes. Now what we need to do is put the uh, sliding pins back in. That's probably enough to work with there. Right, so again we've uh, cleaned those sliding pins all up because it is important they move nice and freely. And then we're putting the uh, silicone grease on them. Then they slide through those uh, rubber bits we put on earlier. And the last thing to do now those sliding pins are uh, done up is to just put the little black plastic uh, caps, as you can see it's going in there, onto the back of those um, rubber boots, which is uh, quite nice. You had to keep come with those because uh, they're the sort of thing that get lost or break up on the originals. And that's the uh, little clip. Once again, we've uh, got new ones. Those you don't always get. Them being, we were changing everything, and again, they weren't actually that expensive to get in the whole scheme of things. You know, put the new uh, springs on. Right, and in the uh, daylight, we've now got the. Uh driver's side finished as well the only difference with the driver's side uh, similar to the backs is that they have the little um, wear down sensor uh, we changed that with a new piece of wire and that goes in there and you can see it um, goes through into that clip uh, and then 
up under the wheel arch through those two little grommets and if I bring you up onto the uh, engine side down by that mount it's probably not very easy to see the plug is actually uh, down there so that's the only difference between the driver's side and uh, the passenger side really so back on the passenger side that really is the uh, job more or less done 